Okay, so we are inside the museum of James Lowenstein, the creator of this beautiful 1200 acre campus where my son Eric lives along with our daughter-in-law Danelle and our granddaughter Lily. It's hard to describe this place. It's a private campus located in the very farthest point, northern Wisconsin, right on the Michigan border. It's pristine. It's 1,200 acres, eight lakes. This campus was built with a $150 million grant or trust left by Mr. Lowenstein that would fund this facility for ever in the future. He made his fortune as the son of the founder of Central Steel and Wire in Chicago, Illinois. In 1956, he was named the president and CEO and continued to grow the company until his passing in 1995. He was a serious, huge outdoorsman and conservationist and wanted to pass along his legacy of learning and appreciating the outdoors in our wildlife to other young children that would attend this facility. Donnell works here as an administrator, originally as one of the teachers. They get to live on campus in a beautiful three bedroom, three bath home, included in part of their faculty uh, membership, if you will. And it is just pristine. It's serene, it's quiet. Each semester, only 60 students get chosen to come to campus for one semester and learn about conservation, the outdoors, wildlife. It is just incredible. They have a recreation center here with probably 60 Trek bicycles that they can just take out and use, kayaks, canoes, all camping, tenting gear. It's all included for their kids to use free of no charge, all because of the trust that James left. Walk you around a little bit as you can see behind me. These are some of the pictures and photographs of him and his wife on the lake here they used in the summers and winters when they would come up to northern Wisconsin. I'm not sure when he purchased this land, but I'm guessing it was back in the 1940s. These are some of the animals and the big game animals that he personally hunted and killed. We have a polar bear here, a big brown bear, a black bear, moose, African game. These are his favorite firearms that he used on these game hunts back in the 1950s and 60s. And this was his actual desk in his office at Central Steel and Wire that he used and they've now brought it into this museum on campus. So the students can come through here be probably I'm guessing before they uh, are part of their uh, initiation enrollment when they get here. I'm sure that they come through this museum to get some background and knowledge about James and what his legacy was all about. Just to give you an idea of the beauty of this facility, this is the main administration building, one of several buildings. They have a rec center, they have a technology center, they have outdoor garden area, field and track. It goes on and on. It is, it's really impressive. This room behind me is part of the main hall where the cafeteria is. This is sort of, I guess it would be the student uh, library and the student uh, study center. Huge fireplace you can see behind me. Downstairs, tons of chairs and seating. And then of course, massive windows out to one of the eight lakes that surround the campus.
Then does the kitchen use any of these products? Yes. Wow, this is great. Look at all this. All vegetable beds. Oh, there's the party planner. Best party planner ever. <laughs> Coming down, say hi. Hi. Recording. Amy Quirk. Famous Amy Quirk. What's your name? Tim. Mr. Tim. Say hi, Jody. Hi. Debra. <laughs> well, you know, Uncle Jim, he'd go, you know what this is? And then I go, he goes, my gun. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's the town. What is in this lake? Hey, do you guys know what this lake is called? That's right. Hey, Greg, get this. They look pretty close. Finally here at the family reunion at Gary and Debbie's house in Minocqua, Wisconsin. My sister Shirley has the riding bull behind her. We're heading down to the lake. Get her down. 
down, Shirley. It's going to be a great day. Here comes the bull. Are you riding it? Ride it, Cheryl. Ride it. Oh, I want to ride it. I want to ride it. I got to be in the water right now. Right? I'm not eating. No, 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 no. Say hi, everybody. We got Shirley and Seisha's pontoon boat, which is going to be awesome for this afternoon. We got the jet ski, and we got a beautiful lake. Here comes a stone crawly lake. Little stone crawly lake, baby. Tim. We are boating on, I don't know what lake, but it's a nice lake, chain of lakes. for 20 30 minutes so that we can get back out there and enjoy the day but you can see the storm it's raining pretty hard right Eric right Eric yes we're all hunkered down oh god dad no <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Anybody wanted by the FBI or in the witness protection? Program? I'd like to sign a waiver. Please. No, we're all just. You're a boy. Smile. I know for all two. You're a boy. Smile like Greg. Greg. You know. I know for all two. Greg and Dickie. Would you get one of them? Me in here. Come on, Stephanie. Come on, Emily. Get out of here. Who is Come on, Amy. Where's Who is Dickie? That's Vicky. Who is Icky Dickie? Dickie Dickie. 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 Can we just pull a piece it's of that off? It's almost too perfect. All right, one. Oh, we're over here. Oh, Dickie in the corner. Stay out there. <laughs> oh, Aunt Dickie, you're so icky. <laughs> <laughs> you're so icky. They're dropping like flies. Everybody. Happy birthday to you. 